Joe Terranova, United Healthcare, the other, the other one tomorrow. Important. Very you own it. <coughs> I do. It's going to be very important. It's going to set the tone for healthcare. Uh, it's been in the ETF since inception. It's one of ten names that's been there. But let's keep in mind, prior to the month of April, this was a name that was down five consecutive months, and it correlated with a lower dollar. Ninety-seven percent of its revenues come from the U.S., so it's been a significant contributor to the Dow industrial gain in the month of April. Nearly 70 percent of the Dow's gain comes from United Healthcare. It's a company in which you're going to get EPS growth, double digits, probably around 10 percent. You'll see revenue growth somewhere around 12 percent. I'll take that in an environment where we're talking about a potential earnings recession. And lastly, you resolved the Medicare Advantage pricing for 2024 came in higher at 3.4 percent relative to what the initial take was in February at 1.1. That's a fundamental strength. We also get, don't we get retail sales tomorrow? Very important. And we're retail not talking sales. about that enough in terms of the string of economic reports that we've gotten have all been pretty bad. I'm not including the CPI and PPI in that, but, you know, the ISM PMI services not great in the last 10 days or so. A lot of the leading economic indicators have been soft. So this is I don't holding even more importance now? It is. I've said that all week. It's, it's, it's really a read on what the consumer is doing. Are they becoming more cost conscious, like Costco told us last week, as American Airlines told us the other day? I don't think tomorrow in retail sales you're going to get anything that's going to en energize uh, the economic growth cyclical story. Why, why are you I think hanging, it's going on, to be why hanging on American Airlines and not what Ed Bastian said? They're going to have a you know, gangbuster summer travel season, sounds to him. Why, okay. why aren't you focusing on that? Because I think what we're seeing is that weekly bookings statistically are coming down, and we're seeing that flyers are searching for lower fares. That's behavior that they haven't had in the last year.